-hmm. talking about the role of women in political parties in Palestine should not be uh, looked at uh, as a separate thing to analyze and, uh, and think about. Mm -hmm. It's part of the uh, collective political life that we have. It's part of uh, the context of our politics and our struggle for uh, liberation. So the main points that were raised in, in the seminar that uh, uh, the women's situation reflects uh, the whole political situation, this is one thing. The entry point for women into political parties was uh, their joining uh, different resistance groups. So this is where it started and this is how we should uh, locate the situation of women and the development of, of the women's agenda within the political parties. So they were partners in the struggle and later on uh, and through the history and development of, of our politics, uh, women started to identify their own agenda, which is the social, uh, the social agenda and the women's agenda, and and uh, this fit into uh, the uh, demands for having uh, stronger voices for women and better representation in the decision-making levels of the political parties. Uh, it's not really a, a very nice picture if we want to draw it. Uh, women have to carry the two burdens, the social one and the political one. The men in a society which is a patriarchal society uh, doesn't really help much uh, when it comes to having women in decision making. Maybe the model that everybody was concentrating on because it's the most recent experience that we had is the Fatah Congress which was held in, in August and it was a real shock to all the women in Fatah and outside Fatah. We as the women's movement we were shocked that not a single woman was elected to the Central Committee which is the highest committee in, in the movement. This is one. Despite the fact 11 women were elected in the Revolutionary Council, but it doesn't really constitute uh, a, a block, let's call it this way, because out of something like 140, uh, they might be 10, maybe less. So what difference those women uh, will do? The breakthrough that we felt we were very proud of is the elections of the executive committee of the PLO, which is the highest ruling committee in the political system in Palestine. Uh, the election of one woman for the first time in more than 40 years, which is the age of the PLO, Dr. Hanan Ashrawi. And we believe her elections was mainly done, the winning, was mainly done because women started to strategize within the National Council and they decided not to accept a list that was already prepared by the president and some allies of his. Uh, and this is how the breakthrough uh, went on. We're very proud of that, she deserves it. But this very nice um, examples do not really reflect the, uh, the situation of women in the political parties, not only on the leadership uh, scale. Uh, they're still suffering. One, one point that was raised in Gaza, for instance, uh, even the leftist parties, the uh, secular parties, when they decide to have women in the leadership, it's only uh, to complement the scene. So you have a rose at the table. But it's not really uh, out of a real and genuine belief that women have different perspective and women can add and uh, introduce an alternative perspective than what the man, the man has already. But this very nice um, examples do not really reflect the, uh, the situation of women in the political parties, not only on the leadership uh, scale. Uh, they're still suffering. One, one point that was raised in Gaza, for instance, uh, even the leftist parties, the uh, secular parties, when they decide to have women in the leadership, it's only 
uh, to complement the scene. So you have a rose at the table, but it's not really uh, out of a real and genuine belief that women have different perspective and women can add and uh, introduce an alternative perspective than what the men, the men has already. So um, I think we we're, we're still have a uh, long way to go and, and a huge struggle uh, to be able to lead in our political parties and also to influence the public opinion on, on the grassroots level. Uh, our parties come from, from the people and if the people uh, and their support for women to be in leadership positions is decreasing and this is what, for instance, uh, somebody like uh, Nader Saeed has pointed out uh, uh, based on the different public opinion goals that he was uh, conducting. Uh, so it's, it's alerting to the women's movement that we need to work on two levels. One is the grassroots level and mainly to try to change the norms and to counterpart the uh, political Islam uh, ideology, but at the same time we should not ignore the higher level, the policies, uh, the decision maker level. So it's uh, a long struggle, uh, but I think we can do it if we're determined.